Hey guys, I have a little haul for you. Nothing too spectacular. I haven't been doing much shopping at all lately, but I did get something yesterday that I'm so excited about. I just absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it is a purse, and typically I never would get a Coach or a Louis Vuitton because I do not like logos, and they plaster their logo all over their products. It's a huge turnoff for me, but this particular bag doesn't have that. Um, I saw it in Lisa, Lisa D1's video in her last Friday haul, and I think it's stunning. I love it, and this is what it looks like. And it's the Coach Spotlight bag. I think it's from the Poppy collection. Um, her name is Simone. I did name her. Um, I name anything fancy I get after a girl I knew in the sixth grade named Simone, and she just had all the brand name, everything. She was um, quite the fancy pants. So, yeah, I know me and Simone are going to be very happy together. She's just Another gorgeous. thing I saw in Lisa's video that I had to have was this Lorac powder. It's perfectly lit spotlight. You can find this at Ulta, and I believe it was around $32. And, um, yeah, I love this. It's so beautiful. I set my foundation with this. And I'll show you. Do you see? It just gives such a subtle um, sheen to the skin. It's really, really nice. I do love my Laura Mercier candlelight. I'll show you the difference. This is a lot more bold. And I'll put it right here. So can you see the difference? This one's just more intense on this side. A lot of people use that just for maybe a cheekbone highlight. Um, some do all over the skin, all over the face, but um, you know you have to do it really, really lightly. I use a large stippling brush when I use this, and I just do the smallest amount possible. It is beautiful, but you can see that it is a lot more intense. So if you're looking for something a little bit uh, more subtle, you are going to love this. Um, I also bought this Lifting and Firming Foundation from Boots, number 7, and it's nice. I really like it. I love that it has SPF 15. I love that it's in this glass container, and it has a pump, so it's really nice. It is, I'd say, in between um, light and medium. It's more closer to a medium coverage, but yeah, it's definitely not a full, um, but I like it. It is really nice. And I picked this up a while back. It's the Neutrogena 3-in-1 Concealer, um, SPF 20. Yeah, and I really like that as well. And this, I don't know if I like. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. This is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, and it's the Lip Tar. I can't find the name on it, but um, I'll get it, and I'll put an annotation up. But, okay, the downfalls, in my opinion, of this is that this is what it looks like when you just open it's just really messy. Um, the thing that I do like about it is that it's just a beautiful color. I guess I expected it to be like a lip gloss and that's where my disappointment is because it's really not a lip gloss. Um, another good thing about it, gorgeous color and it's ridiculously opaque. A little bit hard for me to apply um, and I do use a gloss over it. It's definitely, you know, even though it comes in this tube like this, it's I wouldn't call it a lip gloss. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Um, and also I picked up this Won't Chip from Orly. Again, Lisa mentioned this. And so far, so good. I have this color on my nails today. I'll show you real quick. It's Something Sweet from China Glaze. I cannot remember what collection that came out of. But this is my nail so far. And I think I'm on day three. So, so far, so good. So that's exciting because I always have a problem with chipping. I'm sure all of us do. So I'm very excited that this might actually work. Um, also, with the Lorac, I wanted to mention, um, when I first got this, um, like literally just got it, I was in the car at Ulta, so excited um, to put it on. When I left for the store, I just put on my foundation, um, bronzer and blush. I didn't set it with anything, and I didn't use my um, Laura Mercier candlelight. So I got in the car. And I started swirling my brush around and went to apply it, and it was just messy. It was all over the place. And then I remembered how Lisa showed it in her video. She just went like this with her brush and this, and you can see how much it picks up. So, yeah, when you do get this, don't go crazy and swirl it because it will be a huge mess. And then I just put it on lightly like that, and I love it. So wanted to tell you that. And then... Um, I'll do face of the day real quick and then outfit. So on my face today I have on the Dream Smooth Mousse. Um, this is in 110 porcelain which is lighter than before. I picked up this as a backup 
um, in the summer, knowing that I would lose my tan, um, if you can call it a tan, um, I think I maybe got to NC20, that's tan for me, um, but yeah, this is, it's really light, it's probably a little bit too light for me still, but usually I will end up getting back to this color eventually, so have this on, and then for a bit of contour um, and bronzer, I'm using this Miss Safari, this came from Germany, Angelique sent this one to me, um, it says the color is NR1, and look at the packaging on that, it's so cute. Love this. This is so gorgeous. It's so subtle. It's not dark. It's not like you have to be really careful with it. You can actually use it as a blush. The first time I used this, I meant to do it as a bronzer, but it was so pretty. I didn't put blush on that day. I just wore this alone. Love this so much. So yeah, have that on. And then as a blush today, I used Illa Masca's Cream Blusher in Rude. And I just put that on with my fingers lightly. I did it super lightly because I wanted to go over it with this Stereo Rose. So yeah, I did that. And concealer. I really don't need concealer when I wear this, but I do like it to be a little bit more light under the eye. So just for the color, I did a little bit of this Super Stay. I think this is in the lightest color they have. It's ivory. So did that. Let's see. For the eyes, I use this. If you are in Germany and you can get your hands on this, you need to get these. I love it so much. It's P2 Eye Souffle, another gift from Angelique. And this color is cream, Dreamy Cream. And what this reminds me of is um, Bare Minerals Nude Beach. It's very similar. It's just in a cream form. And it's gorgeous. I put this on all over my lid and up into the crease. Um, I use it for the inner, you know, um, inner tear duct highlight area, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And um, it doesn't it doesn't crease and get all funky during the day, which is amazing because it's a cream. It's just really pretty. I love it so much. And then she sent me this one. You need this as well. Metallic eye, metallic eye mousse in the color gray. So this is what I have on. I put this all over the lid and into the socket a little bit. Not so much in the crease, but just ever so slightly. Um, ever so slightly. I never say that. Um, anyways, I'm going to swatch it for you so you can see. How fun is that? I love it. And again, it's cream and it doesn't budge. I've used this before. I just love it. Um, for a liner, I didn't use this particular one. I left the one I used upstairs, but it's just a silver like liner. It's like this. This one is from Too Faced, but Too Faced has them. You can get them at Ulta. LA Splash carries it. It's just a silver, you know, little thing like that. So I put that uh, for eyeliner, and then I used a black liner. I think it was the Prestige one, um, upper and lower waterline, and lips. I have on this lip liner. It's from Prestige as well. It's called Diva, and you can find this at Ulta. And then the lipstick is from MAC. It's all styled up. Can't remember what collection that came from, but how fun is that color? And then the gloss is also MAC, and it's Feeling Dreamy. It's just a lip gloss. Very peachy. Love that color. So yeah, that's that, and then I will do a quick outfit of the day. So today I'm just wearing a black and white striped shirt with jeans and boots. I'm wearing it off the shoulder uh, with burgundy bra because it matches my earrings and my boots. I got the shirt at Marshall's. It's cinched up on this side, and it's longer on this side. And burgundy boots, um, more like a raspberry color. And um, yeah, of course I'll be taking Simone with me today. Here's the earrings up close. I got these at Target a while back. And also, a quick update, I am done with all the orders that I got for the hats and scarves and I have been asked to show you how I wear the scarf. So I'm going to do that as well really quick. I'm not wearing it today, but I'm just doing it to show you how I do like so to wear here's the burgundy. I'm sorry, not burgundy. This is the um, raspberry. Okay, it looks like this. This is long. I like them long because I like to uh, wrap them. 
quite a bit. So this is my favorite way to wear it. So yeah, I do that. Sometimes I will double it twice around my neck. Also, a friend of mine likes to wear it like this. She just takes it like this. You put it on and then you reach your hand through this little hoop right here and you pull it through. So that's another way. There's many ways to do it. Um, those are just the ways so that I do it. So all of you guys who placed an order got your orders in. I'll be mailing out everything on Monday. Um, I'm finished with everything. So yeah, check your mail and please message me when you do receive it because I like to know that it got to you okay. Um, and to everybody else, I hope you have a fun weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.